Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2025, and we are here in the booth of Kylo Medical. And we have with us Bernard Duscher. He is a co-founder of Kylo Medical, and also Dr. Ruben Schmidt. Uh, he is clinical director of AI for the company. Gentlemen, thank you both for being with us. Thank you, Brian. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks, Brian. Great to be here. So. Um, Bernard, can you tell us a little bit about Kylo Medical? I think our viewers are pretty familiar with what you guys do, but just give, me, give us maybe an overview of the company. Yeah, sure, we'd love to. Thank you. So Kylo Medical, we're 14 years old this year, and uh, you know, we developed three key products. Kylo Hub, which is our messaging engine, HL7, Diacom, Fire, etc., And also Kylo Flow, so structured reporting, being able to take data from various systems and build out a structured report. And then, of course, Kylo Air, which is our latest addition, as I stand here with Dr. Ruben Schmidt, the ability to take a report from a radiologist and sort of shape it in any which way that's possible. So, uh, Ruben, can you tell us a little bit about Kylo Air and the company that was acquired and what you were doing there, and then maybe how you've, you've turned that into Kylo Air, the product that's being launched here at RSNA? Yep. So, basically, uh, the concept behind Kylo Air came out of two experiences I had during residency. I'm now a senior radiology resident uh, in Ballarat, Victoria, Australia. The first was uh, I was producing reports which occasionally had uh, speech recognition errors. You wouldn't believe it, but they do happen. Um, and I was producing a few reports like that. So I was testing with early uh, LLMs to determine whether they could improve our reports by detecting common speech recognition errors. So I found that they were capable of that in 2022 uh, uh, and early 2023 I was exploring that. Uh, subsequently I started work for a group that employs typists for dictation and they also use PowerScribe 360. So there were two paradigms at play. They, they wanted ideally to get the radiologists who are using typists to use VR. Uh, but there was some difficulty in adjusting to that new VR system. So my, uh, what I took from that was, I'm going to build a new system that combine or tries to combine the best of both worlds um, and incorporates that speech uh, recognition error detection concept in order to provide um, error-free reports that satisfy both paradigms. So the, the typist paradigm and the um, instant voice recognition paradigm. So that's how it all sort of began. I was working on the software for a year or so, incorporated a company behind it. Um, I was then introduced to the, the Kylo guys through a, a mutual connection, uh, and the guys really liked what I was doing. We sort of hit it off immediately. We have similar uh, views, similar values, I think. And so they ended up acquiring the company, uh, which we've incorporated the tech behind uh, into the, the latest product, which is called Kylo Air. Okay, and what does Kylo Air do? Uh, it's basically a, a new VR software that um, takes free dictation or structured text, whichever you prefer, and produces a um, complete formatted report. It's got impression generation built in, it's got the error detection module, which I'm really proud of, um, as well as a bunch of other features, and it integrates natively with the rest of the Kylo stack. So it's got uh, uh, Sonar Review Kylo Flow integration built in and very smoothly integrated. Very good, and, and uh, do you have FDA clearance? Are you uh, marketing this right now in the US? Uh, we're approaching the point where we begin those discussions is what I would say. So we're uh, early pilot users uh, in Australia, really positive response um, in early commercial discussions with those groups to uh, get things rolling. All right, very good. Bernard, what else can we look forward to from Kylo in addition to seeing Kylo Air get rolled out more broadly? Yeah, well, I think importantly, um, unlike some systems that have sort of started with the AI piece first and sort of worked their way back, and usually we have the whole ecosystem. And so being able to capture the information up front and basically build Ruben's product into the entire ecosystem we're able to capture all of the data points along the way. So not just, you know, radiologist voice input, but we can take clinical notes, dose reporting information, we can hook it into our Kylo Flow product. 
So in terms of 2026 and the future for us, it's actually owning that entire ecosystem and building the whole thing together as a cohesive product. All right, very good. Well, we'll look forward to seeing that. Bernard Duscher and Dr. Ruben Schmidt of Kylo Medical, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, Brian. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, thanks, Brian, for your time. Signing off from Chicago, my name is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire.